We're not freaking street creatures, and we're not slam dancing for Allah. Do you feel like your music is angry? Because I think a lot of people... No, it's not angry. It's funny. They're just jokes to us. I mean, they make sense to us. The truest thing's a joke. But... So are you kind of making a statement against mass media or consumerism, or...? It's more about what we're doing for ourselves than, like, what we're doing, like, in response to other people. People are like, those kids are assholes. I can't believe those Muslims are trying to make music. And the other ones will be like, you assholes. You can't, you, like, fucking are desecrating the name of the prophet we're gonna come and kill you yeah it's a little different do you still feel like the muslim and punk rock they're they're separate or do you think that they can be i would not say that there's any sort of ideology we're trying to push on anyone we're okay. very new to all of this sort of media sure. attention and if we're not careful then we're stupid i am saying that's not, that you that's are not, not to, to come on this bus and film that's it that's the, the coverage idea. at this point it's still just like Oh my God! It's a brown guy with a mohawk. Yeah, like yeah. that's, that's such all, a and it stops thing, there. You know? It stops there. Yeah. They alienated people by saying that this is Islamic ideological music, yeah, or like yeah, you know, if I'm on the phone in that magazine, in the actual magazine, where I'm on the phone and the caption it says Bas Musmani praying at home, but I was on the phone <laughs> yeah, the whole time. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so I mean, if that's what they're doing, then they're they're misrepresenting us the, the thing is like you know a lot of those media outlets like especially say newsweek you know their obligation isn't to telling the truth or telling you know what we're portraying what we're trying to say in the way that we want it portrayed their first and foremost obligation is to profit you know to make profit what they don't get is they never engage the difference is that some of us might be religious or some of us might be religious at times and at times we're not and some of us just might not give a shit at all. And some of us might be completely political about things or yeah. cultural about things. Yeah. And, exactly. But they just try to lump us in all into so we're saying the same thing. I think that's yeah. one big problem with just the general concept of Muslims, like, altogether, is that people just think there's one kind of Muslim, you know what I mean? Yeah. And that's, I think, in a lot of ways, is what we're trying to show people that, you know, to break down these stereotypes. But Boston was telling me that uh, some, one reporter asked him this totally ludicrous question, which was, how does, how does it feel to be a Muslim and know that there are terrorists out there that are Muslim as well? <laughs> what did you say? What did you say? What did you say? You should have turned it around on him, man. I did. I said, what does it feel like to be white and know about the slave trade? <laughs> <laughs>